Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. Slava Ukraini. Today, let's continue playing as the Ukraine and continue pushing into Russia. Right now, Petrograd is still a frontline city. Two episodes ago, we took that over, or at least the Finns took it over, but they've been struggling since then. But luckily, we now have Sweden in our alliance. Even though Germany is getting whacked pretty hard with the French, so they might actually have a hole in their lines. I'm not sure. We'll have to see what happens. Right now, we have plenty enough artillery. We need more guns. But between this episode and last, I decided to put artillery uh, support companies on every division. So, right now, we're still defending in the Crimea. Crimea and... Ooh, we're getting attacked. Hmm. It doesn't look like the Russian forces can really do that much against us at the moment. My biggest concern is really the West here. Because if they fall, which they might, that's going to not, not be good for anybody. Especially if they lose Mets. Now, if they lose Mets, that's not terrible. It is only like a level 3, 4, 4 area. And they can still defend against a river, but still. Still. Cool. So right now, let's take all but you, and then you two. you all attack here. We're going to keep pushing in and taking back some of our lands, as well as some of the own Russian lands as well. Happy 1941. Binky? All right. I'm also joined here a little bit by my cat named Binky, who can't decide whether he wants to stay in my room or leave us. Pretty typical Bink. Right, Bink? You doing okay? Oh! Okay. Now, this is very positive for us. I wasn't expecting this, but since I did nothing to do this, we gotta skip around for this. I'll give Denmark to Germany for the most part. Um, I'm Sweden actually might have taken Copenhagen. I really wasn't paying attention. But, I don't really care. So, Germany, congrats. Oh, do they still have more? Oh, the Faroe Islands. Um, you know, I'll give that to Sweden. Because they deserve something, right? Oh, they still have more. Oh, coastal Greenland. Oh. And Humboldt Glacier. Um, you know what? We'll give that to Sweden, because that'll be nice to give them. Oh, not give score. Take all states. There you go. Well, at least that's somewhat positive. They were annexed. That means a few extra divisions can now go help the front. Please, for the love of God, hold. Hold, for the love of God. Uh, the Commune of France. Ruby Bink? Um, they've lost quite a few guys. They're almost actually the same number of guys that Germany has lost itself. Awesome. That's actually really good for us. So that's that's positive. Uh, looks like the Germans, though, are still attacking. Yep, they're still attacking. That's pretty normal for the Germans. But whatever. Go ahead and start helping out, because we... I think we can really be on the offensive in this video. I think we can really do that. I think that'd be great. Um, is there anywhere specifically that we can push. Not really. Not really. Two divisions here. We'll attack here and there. Attack there. Oh, they're getting attacked over there, which is fine. One division here. Supplemented by another division here. Um, I want to attack here, but they keep moving soldiers around. Probably not for the best. Go ahead and help out here as well. Also, where I live right now, it's in the morning, so I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time. And it's cold. I'm quite cold. That's okay. Maybe I need to shut the window. <laughs> ah, good, good, good. Let's see. Russia is about 29% of the way towards capitulation. 29% of the way. How's Mongolia doing? They are doing okay. They're not doing great. They are losing maybe a little bit of land, but they're doing okay. And we're, of course, getting still attacked in the Crimea, which is, which is okay with me. Which is totally, totally okay with me because the Cossacks are running out of manpower. Because they had to go up to service by requirement. 
Now, if we want to attack again, we will do a great push here. Which means we can attack here. Which means... Kharkov will hopefully soon be ours. Come on, guys. You got this. I know I need to throw on a lot of artillery pieces on a lot of my divisions. I know that for sure. But in time. In time. Let's see. You guys can probably do that. That'll be fine. You guys can actually probably help attack here. Help them out. They can pierce those tanks, so... Not sure what the tanks are doing, but whatever. You guys attack here. Good. Good. The Russians are, I think, out of equipment, just like everyone else. No one has guns. I did tap over. Tab over. Russia's completely out of guns. I think Mongolia might be out of guns. Obviously, Germany is. France is. The Union of Britain is. So, no one has guns. Including us. So, that's good. Well, relatively good. You know, you think that the German AI would, would die after attacking the French so much. But, the AI in Hoi 4 is just... It's so good to the point where you can lose half of your guns and still be able to defend against an incoming massive enemy death stack. Ah, gotta love it. That's almost like there was a reason why tanks were invented. Almost. Um, yeah, I don't mind you attacking here. That makes sense. Help him out there. Uh, you could probably help him out here too, actually. Give me one more division here. Give me you over here as well. Now that should be good. That should be delightful. Hmm, Kaluga. Can we take Kaluga? Mm, perhaps. If we can take this tile, then yes. But I don't want to attack over a river. I'm still being very careful with our supplies. Now, if Germany doesn't have any supplies, that's totally fine with us. If anything, that can make our military appear more powerful than Germany's. And you know what? You might as well attack here as well. Take Kursk. Kursk is a very, very important strategic, strategic city. Talking right now, that's a little difficult for me. Ooh. Alright, come on, guys. You got this. We're slowly winning. I'm sure, actually, they have some artillery on this division that they're using right now. Go ahead and throw that in there. I think that'll be okay, as long as that keeps going like that. They might have taken this tile back from us. But if we can't have Kar Karkov, we, of course, will keep Karsk. Oh, you are attacking. That is not a bad idea, actually. Give him a little bit more support. Alright. Supplies. We're doing better and better on supplies. I'm really enjoying this. Better and better on supplies. And Kursk is ours. We have taken quite a few factories. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, wow. We just saw that I needed one more factory to make 15 for these infantry equipment. And I had no support equipment factories. But now we have five. Amazing. Truly Amazing. Um, next up will be just more factories here. We gotta get them. Karsk is ours. Glorious. Oh! Hello, Netherlands! You really are a colonial person or colonial nation. You just keep invading everybody. That is extremely unexpected. But I love it. I really love it. Holy cow. Ooh. Everything else seems to be going all right over there. Two Sicily seems to be holding. Oof. Okay, duck. Now I'm feeling pretty good about this. Now, yeah, we're almost out of our deficit of guns. And soon, I'm going to start upgrading this division that has 20 combat width, which takes quite a bit of manpower, and throw on a bunch of artillery. Oh, and actually, if you look at that, before we had, like, we were terrible on upgrades. We didn't have any upgrades. But now we're working on that. Glorious. Really, really good. We're putting ourselves in a very, very advantageous position. You guys, you know what, you might as well help out right there. Push them out. Oh, we are attacking over a river. Um, um, we, oh, well, it looks like we'll probably win there. Okay, that'll be okay then. How about over here? Throw in our good boys. That looks like it could potentially win. Maybe, yes, yes. Uh, you help it out down here as well. That'll be good. Um, good. I mean, well, it's not good, but it's still going. You guys. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to punch a hole through U3. Actually, you can add another one right there. So it's five divisions attacking three. Not bad, not bad. 
They've stopped attacking us over the cry the strait here. Hmm. Mongolia is still doing okay. Finland is still hanging on, just barely hanging on. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys actually, you help attack here. Push them back. Keep pushing them back. How many factors they got? They got enough manpower. Oh, did Daddy die? Did Mr. Romanov die? <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Pavel is only 12 years old. Oh, okay. He's only 12, and he's going to be the last, probably the last monarch of Russia, perhaps. Ooh. If we have our way with him. He's only 12. That sounds weird. That sounds really weird. <laughs> okay, then. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I know this is over a river, but anything that can help us push, that'll be great. Good. We're kind of winning here. Uh, you know what? Help, help the attack down here. Ooh. Ooh, we sunk two Union of Britain convoys. Great. Oh, we actually have another army. Where are you guys? You are down here. I don't need to put you in there. I kind of want to help the Germans out, but... We need to finish the war with Russia before I help them out. That's really the main thing. So, we have another another division with just only support artillery. I'm going to throw you right there. Help support the line. We're actually making divisions now. Great. And we have a, a positive surplus of guns. Wow. Support artillery. Great. So, next up. Um, Odessa Harbor. Port of Sevastopol. Political power. I lose 10. Why would I lose 10 political power? Give me the political power. So, when we took over <clears throat> Crimea in 1918, we also got the whole Russian Black Sea Fleet, which wasn't very much. Despite that boon, without a proper renovation of the Sevastopol naval base... We will be unable to use it properly. If we want to strengthen our role in the Black Sea region, we must do our best to build the, or rebuild the port of Sevastopol. So, get a coastal fort, naval base, three infrastructure, a naval dockyard, <clears throat> and 25 political power. I'm not sure why my voice is trying to cut out on me, but whatever. Alright, so we need... Hmm, really, the north is doing pretty well. We're almost at Moscow. Wow. Almost at Moscow. Cop attack here. Thank you very much. Um, oh, centralized fire control. Very nice. More soft attack all around. I love it. Let's get forward observers for more reconnaissance and reinforce rate, even though I'm not using recon at all right now. But we're doing pretty well on uh, support equipment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Can I attack here? Four divisions against one. I believe so. Mm. I think we might be able to attack here. Here next. Three against one. It's not bad. Okay, so now it's three against three. Um, I'm thinking about maybe cancel maybe not canceling this attack. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Awesome. Do that. Oh, we need more guns. That's totally okay. And even though they got invaded, they're still attacking. And the Netherlands was smart. They actually took a port. Now just don't lose that port, because that would be very bad for everyone if you lost the port. Oh, they might lose the port, because they keep getting hammered really hard, and they don't like that. Still no upgrades yet. I really want infantry leader. Why does no one have infantry leader yet? I'm using a lot of infantry. Almost exclusively infantry. Oh, baby, we just keep building up our lines. I love it. Um, I really don't have forces to attack there, so we're not going to attack there. I don't mind supporting an attack here, though. That seems pretty smart. I don't want to attack over that river. Um, I thought we won here. Maybe not. Just because we can attack doesn't mean you should. Doesn't mean you should. So attack here. So in the north, oh, the Finns have, they're, they're dead. The Finns have given up. That's not good. Ooh. But for us, we're doing okay. Russia is still nowhere close to capitulating, which is fine. Which is totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Germans, as long as they hold on to regular Germany, they'll be okay. Not really worried about that. So, yeah. If we can take Moscow, that'd be great. Ah, coffee. Quickly becoming cooled. Because of the weather. Cool. Attack here. The more we can attack in the north, or in the central portion, really. The central north. Actually, the central south. 
the central south, then we can attack more in the south, which will be very, very important for reclaiming our own core territory, Russia. You bunch of bastards. The Germans still don't want to help out down here. That's why I moved my soldiers down, because all they did was want to help the north out. And there goes the Kingdom of Finland. Well, I guess I'm not exporting my grain to them anymore. Hopefully, the United Baltic Duchy can control Petrograd, which has lowered the... Oh, there goes that. Penalty, or lowered their capitulation rate against them. Uh, let's see. Go here. And then go here. Do that. Next up. You know what? I'm going to start converting some of these divisions to divisions with fire support. We'll gain some infantry equipment as well as manpower, which is kind of nice. So, slowly I'm going to convert all my divisions to have artillery. And you know what? It's time to start maybe a new offensive in the south. Start there. They only have one division. Great. You know what? If they're doing that, then I can probably attack with these guys over here. Which means I can probably, ooh, get dispersed industry. I love it. 1941. Get some more construction speed because we're still building up civilian factories for some reason. Um, yep, do that there. So we're attacking here. We're attacking here. We can attack here next, probably. Actually, you know what? We're not. I'm going to... Uh, just down here is very difficult to find good places to exploit. We're not winning here, so let's stop the attack. They added it in quite a few divisions, which is fine. You can definitely attack here. You can attack up here. Give me half of you boys. Attack right here. Next up, we're attacking there. As well as here. Um, you attack here. You attack here. Even though the Finns might have capitulated. That's okay. We're going to attack here. Help them out on their offensives. Because it looks like we could do pretty well around here. Ooh, are we n maybe not going to win there? Well, throwing in a another division. The cavalry aren't doing well. That's the main thing. Uh, well, you can attack that way then. No matter what happens, we still keep attacking. The north is probably going to fall a little bit just because I'm not guarding the line. I don't have the means to guard the entire front line. Well, and that's why I'm trying to make more and more divisions. Thank God, look at this. Now we can actually push in a little bit. Besides, if we want to attack the north, we'd have to take out the Donkoban Union as well as Azerbaijan or Baku down here so that we can get to like Astrakhan so that way we can have a shorter front line technically by the end of this episode though I want to own Moscow or at least have the Germans own Moscow someone has to own Moscow except for the Russians oh another division glorious all right how's this going so you guys are still holding on very strongly they're actually the Germans seem to be doing maybe slightly better in the west they have more divisions. Oh, the French have no manpower now. Good job. Good job. Point four AI. The Swedes, I don't think have much manpower. They have a little bit. Ooh. Kaiser. General Strike Kaiser Cat. Oh, they're defending against the Russians. The North is not doing well at all. Their Germans don't know how to hold a line correctly. But whatever. Whatever. That's why I'm trying to help push. Oh, another division. Glorious. Glorious day. Still not going to get more divisions here, actually. Actually, four divisions against one. They haven't put that many divisions over here, which is great. Oh, they're attacking me here. Oh, give me one more division. You can help hold in the north, probably. Give me one here now. I'm probably going to take maybe one of you guys off. Help defend. Another division. Uh, three over here. Just keep throwing divisions on here. Oh, we lost that. That's not good. Um, you might still be able to win if we lose this place. That's fine. Because we'll take this spot as well. In return. I need you to come this way. That's fine. You know what? We're atta getting attacked from 24 divisions. So that's a lot of divisions. No worries. No worries. Oh, they've actually put more soldiers there. Let's see. The Netherlands was driven out, unfortunately. Don't need to keep, keep attacking. They actually realized that their mistake. Totally fine. Coming down here. Do not need to attack. I took back the airbase, but at least we tried something there. Next up. Next up. Where are we going to strike? Well, they just left, so... And actually, the Germans are helping hold the line, which is great. Which is actually pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. You guys attack here. Overwhelming firepower. Thank you. Um, you three. What are you up three up to? That's right. Changing to 
artillery only. Well, okay, maybe not artillery only, but a lot more artillery pieces. That saves a little bit of manpower as well as saves on guns. Which would be great, because right now we're out of 5,000 guns. Uh, you know where I'm going to attack next, because I'm dr drinking some of my coffee right there. Very nice, very nice. The Germans, please, stop trying offenses right now. You can't support more offenses. But we can take Tula. I'll take Tula. What's the indust industrial capacity of Russia? Quite a few factories. But we're definitely doing better. Definitely doing better. It looks like the SRI has stopped attacking. The Entente has done almost nothing. They invaded almost Nice. And they don't have a port. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, gotta love it. Gotta love. Gotta love them. Nice. Maybe we can attack here. They, we're attacking into a force, which is a, which is a terrible idea. But we're attacking with five divisions. We should be able to support that attack. Um, right here would be a good place to attack next. Actually, you guys might be able to change over to fire support. We've got plenty enough artillery. Maybe you change to fire support as well. Uh, no, you already are fire support. Good. Good, good, good. You too? Fire support, please. Thank you. It only costs 72 artillery pieces, so that's kind of nice. You guys attack here. You guys attack here. You're doing all a great, great job. Um, for now, switch to fire support as well. Saves on guns. Save 15% or more on your next gun purchase. What is this? America? <laughs> Go ahead and help them out here. Oh, nope. Go ahead and begin the battle according to us. That would be great. Oh, and they're back at attacking me down here. Thank you, thank you. Four divisions that are very well dug in are having a great time. Now, you know what? It's time to re-strike here. You guys should have the... Oh, we don't have the artillery on your guys yet. That's okay. Take the airbase, even though we might lose it in the end as well again. Oh, Germany, you love attacking so much. Moscow is getting attacked, but they're not going to be able to take the city yet. yet. There's no way. So, you can attack this way. Four divisions versus one. Not bad. Not bad. Um, how's the north doing? It's still holding. That's good. You guys, help strike this way. Take this division out. Mm, once the Germans stop attacking, I'm going to throw in some more divisions. I'm not going to do two seats. Two seats? Two C's. Doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> I love subs, but I want naval power projection. But, I'm going to do Ukrainian Air Force first for a little more air XP, and a double air race, and a research bonus for air doctrine. The role of the aircraft in modern warfare shouldn't be underestimated. We must do everything we can to develop a superior air force for Ukraine. And we have quite a few, quite a bit, of political power. Ah, uh, gotta love coffee. So am I still mobilizing? I'm still mobilizing just a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Naval ship manufacturer. I'm not building subs. Cruisers. Chief of Navy. Trade convoy production. Not bad. Sub attack. Well. <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go with Sergei, but. Um, you know what? Let's do electronic there. It's just because I'm still doing a lot of stuff with electronics. That's probably for the best. <clears throat> excuse me. Excuse my throat. Nice. Good job, guys. You're doing a great job. Mm, over here would be a good place to attack. Over here would also be a very good place to attack as well. Good places to attack. <coughs> Moscow. We have to keep pushing harder to get to Moscow. Anywhere else. We took the airbase back, finally, thank God. But now, we can probably strike here. Three versus oh one. Prob oh no, they have three divisions there. So I'm gonna throw this extra division in here then, and see what happens. So four against three with more artillery on our divisions this time, but not a whole lot more. <clears throat> you know, I'm gonna throw in another division as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice, we're doing well. We're doing very well. Pummel those Russians. Come on. Come on. Nice. Awesome. They'll defend that pretty easily. Good. Good, 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 good. 
Come over here is going to be a little bit of a problem. Up north, we need this next tile. They got they got a couple forts there, though. Got a couple forts. That's not good for us. Tver, we want Tver. But where are we going to strike next? Maybe strike up and then continue pushing east. That's probably for the best. Alright, supplies. We're almost out of our gun deficit, which is great. Now, I'm going to add in a little bit more of a deficit. But let's see. Recon companies, you need engineers. That'll be good. Which really doesn't hurt our support equipment that much, which is awesome. Fire support, I'm not going to add in... Let's see. That takes 10 support equipment. That takes 30. So really, put on the recon companies then. Now we're going to have a major deficit of support equi support equipment. Okay, maybe a small deficit of support equipment. But you know what? I'd rather have recon than not have recon. Nice. We took out some more guys there. Very good, very good. Moscow, I want Moscow. Very badly. Want it. Need it. Can you help attack here? They have three divisions. Tver is probably... Oh, they have no forts there. Yeah, that attack is not going to go so well. Now, if we attack from over the river, which is a terrible idea, we might have enough strength to actually push them out. Good. Divisions around here. They all have to be fire support. Go ahead and do that. Artillery is doing pretty well. Keep changing this to fire support. Good. Over here. Do we have any fire support? There we go. Give them a few days to change those things out. And we can strike here, maybe. Uh, everywhere across the line here is not very good to attack, but I will find holes to attack. Find and exploit the enemy's holes. Next up, looks like this is good to attack as well. Overwhelming support. Love it. We may not have... They do not have air superiority, but we do. Next up, we're going to attack here next. Don't move, man. Don't move. Awesome. You probably don't need to move there. And if anything, I could have thrown that extra vision right there, but no. Good. Keep doing that. You're doing a great job, guys. You're doing a great, great job. Up here... Now you can attack this tile. We're going to defend against the river here, which would be great. Germans are still holding on. Mongolians are still holding on. Slowly, slowly losing, but they're still holding on. Ooh, the Russians are down to a little more than half a million manpower. Saudi Arabia declared war on Muscat, which means now the Cairo Pact is still at peace, because Saudi Arabia is not in the Cairo Pact. But Saudi Arabia is at war with the Entente. Not sure why. Really not sure why that's happening. But that's okay. Sometimes it's best to not know why. Alright, you guys come down here. You guys, give me your strongest division right now, which is you. Help attack. You come down here, and then we'll attack that tile. And you are down here. Help attack. Great. No, nice. This is actually turning out very nicely. I need this next. So, all... Five of you divisions, you're going to attack here. Greatness awaits. You hold on. Australia's in union, union joined the Third International, so hopefully the Entente can take them out. Moscow is definitely a frontline city. I'm going to give it just a little bit of time before we assault Moscow. Um, uh, oh, it's White Ruthenia attacking? Oh, no, it's really the Germans that are attacking. We still have Novgorod for now. Um, Tver? You know what? If the Germans are attacking right now, we might as well help them help support them in their attack. Oh, a lot of this territory is mine. I didn't even realize that. Um, we could use more planes. I could use more guns. We could definitely use more artillery because we're gonna need a lot of artillery when I switch things over. Come on, we almost have Moscow. Ah, uh, there we go. Last time Moscow was taken by foreign power, a vast fire wiped out large portions of the city. Not so today, though, when Ukrainian forces broke through the siege lines in multiple places and converged on the Kremlin. Russian soldiers continue to snipe the enemy from high rises, but the main defenses have broken and are filtering out through the suburbs and the surrounding forests. 
Red Square, long the center of Russian life in the city, has been turned into a makeshift POW camp, and burning debris has been seen falling from the Kremlin windows, no doubt a last-ditch effort to prevent Russian intelligence from falling into Ukrainian hands. This is a dark day for the Russian Empire. The heart of the Russian Empire is now in Ukrainian control, even though it's in Moscow control right now. But the Ukrainians took Moscow from the hands of the Russians. That is a... Ooh, that is... That is really not good for them. That is terrible. That even the... the Ukrainians were able to siege and take down Moscow. It just takes a little bit of Ukrainian intelligence and firepower to do so. Awesome. That is really the goal that I wanted to accomplish in this episode. I didn't think I didn't know if it was possible, but obviously it was. Um, yeah, attacking here not a great idea. Go ahead and stop attacking. I will end the episode very soon because actually I have to go. But mm, stockpile more artillery on here. Let's get a, f a little bit more steel from the Germans. And get uh, one more thing of tungsten from... Ooh, do not buy it from them. Buy it from India. They seem to be doing okay. Nice. Very... Oh, the Ru Netherlands invaded here again. Alright. You attack here. Give me half of you guys, you attack here. Give me half of you guys, you attack here as well. Overwhelming firepower. Um, oh, you're still attacking? No, Kharkov can wait. Kharkov can wait. Beautiful, though. We've killed over half a million Russians. Beautiful. Um, we're still winning. We're still winning. You just don't ever get tired of winning. Moscow is firmly ours. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Um, I want at least one more battle before we end here today. Maybe attack here, perhaps. Is that good? That looks like it might be good. That will be good. An extra point. Good. So yeah, we haven't advanced very much at all. But we've done a lot of good stuff here. Ooh, you come down here just in case. You spare another division that way. Um, Right here. Take you off. Attack here. Get forward observers for more recon and reinforce rate. And then we will get some recovery rate, organization, organization, and recovery rate for some special divisions. Nice. Very, just beautiful. Beautiful. Um, next up on the list is here. Very good. Very, very good. And then we need to move around in some of our divisions, obviously. So, you guys come here. You guys help attack here. And I want to take one more tile. One more tile before we're done here today. I know exactly what we're going to take. Right there, friends. Help the Germans out. Help our allies out. Um, hopefully they can take it. Yep, they probably sh will be able to. Up here, they might need a little bit of support. That would be great. Russia, Russia, Russia. 12-year-old boy, not doing so well. The Cossacks, a bunch of backstabbers. They're on all adult serve, which is great. Germany is doing pretty well manpower divisions. France is on scraping the barrel. Oh no. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Even though I wouldn't say they were ever really that mighty, mighty. Um, yeah, take that. Give me one division, attack that way as well. And that will probably be, be where we. Li nope, hold on. I'm going to see if we can take Kharkov. We need to take our own city back, and that'll be the last thing we do. Come on. Kharkov, our own home city. Or one of our home cities. We can take it. We can do well. The Netherlands is getting defeated once again. And they're attacking us over here. From 17 divisions is attacking two. No wonder they are struggling with that. Come on, Kharkov. We took it. We have taken Kharkov. We've taken Moscow. We've taken Kharkov. The Eastern Front is looking glorious now. We've lost way too many guys. But we've killed so many Russians and so many Cossacks that I think it's worth it so far. So, anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. We took Moscow, we took off Kharkov, and the offensive is going pretty on well for us, except for the Finns, who have obviously capitulated. Um, yeah, with that in mind, hope you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, um, and I hope you all have a great, tremendous day, and I'll see you tomorrow.